Welcome back to Ed and Shaz Adventures. Um, I'm going to show you a bit of an upgrade I've done to the vehicle. Uh, put battery in, 135, 135 um, amp hours battery, plus a MPPT solenoid one from the roof onto the car, um, and XTM. Uh, 12 24 power box uh, took me a bit to install it's my first time I've ever done it and I didn't see much on YouTube about these um, to show you a bit what I've done right let's crawl in right okay here we got the uh, power um, battery which I said before, 135 um, amp hours. It's just one at the moment. I'll be getting another one. Got a bit more room here to put another one. Um, that's my solar lead at the moment. I'll tidy it up when I get around to it. Um, my XTM uh, 20 amp uh, P MPPT solar charger. Right, put the wires through, that's all working correctly. Got a little panel here. Um don't think you can read that. Uh because I'm under uh, in the carport at the present moment, uh, it's not charging. Oh, a bit of sun now and then. Um what I've done here <coughs> the inside of this, as you see, you got your your buzz bars, buzz bar there. You can pull them bus bars out if you want, send it on a um, YouTube channel. If you pull it out, you can divert power to one of your hands and plugs, and one to the other hands and plug. So I've just left them there so I can power in. And as you see, I've got a um, 80, 80 watt amp there. There's all amps all over the place here bit of a mess but I'm not an electrician I don't know what I'm doing this is just a bit of a guessing game and it worked oh and the fuses here so if any fuses blow or anything like that you've got a little power light that tells you which fuse is blown you've got your voltage meter running at the present moment you've got um, what is it three three um, cigarette lighters plugs and one USB as you see that one on 2.4 amps and one on 1 amp um, so what I'm doing with this cable here plugging that into there and that will run instead of running the lead all the way to the front my caravan one how good is that um, yeah what I'll um, show you what I used to use or is it? Oh, here we go. I used to use this companion um, straight from the solar from the uh, roof. Never had a problem with it. I think I've had it one and a half years. It's got a lithium battery in there, it's 40 hertz, works pretty well. And some plug input, the output for the Anderson plug. Your fridge, fridge, a couple of USBs, and yeah, it's even got a torch. There you go, it's even got a torch. That's pretty handy to know that I've got a torch there actually. A bit of light on this system. Well, I knew the torch was there. I've got to use it. So I've been working a bit in the dark. Right, and what we've got here is the 300 watt king inverter so that runs got no problem with that There's no noise and make the vents through to the back so it cools the tilt down and i'll tidy this up and give it a bit of a run okay i'm back again I've just cleaned it up a little bit, um, put it all together as you'll see. 
All right. Um, cable tied up, made it a little bit neater. Um, now, let's see if the inverter works. I've got a um, vacuum cleaner connected. So, turn it on. Don't need to have a power cord anymore. To vacuum the car. How good is that? Right. Uh, let me see. Top on. I've. I don't know what all them things are. I'll just connect the phone in. Yep. That's charging. Bob's your uncle. Oh, how's that? Right, so the next project is I'll show you. Is the King's battery dual system. So that'll be next. So as we're driving along, um, we can um, charge up, charge up the um, back battery from your starter battery. So yeah, it's be some be some more mucking around. Pretty good. Yeah, as you say that in the back, that's what I built. Um, so what we got in here. So like we've got the book on the um, MPPT solar controller and the XDM which you buy BCF and we've got the King's 3000 watt pure shine wave inverter um, I put the um, 250 amp fuse in the back normally I recommend minimum is 300 but I put 250 there just in case I've overloaded it and because I'm running on the one battery I don't want to cook it right and if you see here's the dual uh, battery kit uh, that'll be next which I said uh, yeah quite happy with what I've done uh, bit of a nightmare with your head trying to read all these books when you have never done anything like this have a look how cool is that now we can fry on the road just have a sausage or a hamburger on the side of the road instead of pulling the barbie out how's that all right it's only a little short video just to um, show you that anyone can do it if i can do it anyone can do it and tell you one thing i didn't get hurt didn't get electrocuted, didn't get sparked, didn't cut myself, didn't hit myself with a hammer on the finger. So anyone can do it. Just give it a go. If you're not confident enough, go and get an electrician. Yeah. And by the way, guys, always make sure just buy one, a multimeter. Pretty handy. If you've never used one before, check it out on YouTube come in handy you know if you're wise and wrong or what or you've got nothing coming through you know where to look for straight away oh, and what I've also done I've built with ply wood a bit of a base around here with a bit of a carpet on there a bit of carpet there all pull out and screw out so to get underneath it's pretty solid um, just got to fill the gaps a little bit out there put a little plinth in and I work myself probably around the whole vehicle as I'm going I don't want to make it too heavy right otherwise yeah you've got to pull something out yeah I'll show you it's just one of these thin bits of carbon at Bunnings of course and I've just glued it together with a bit of fast grip 
Make sure you seal it otherwise you won't be using it for long. It goes rock hard. And yeah, this just the board that I've used with a bit of wood from Bunnings. It's always Bunnings, isn't it? Bunnings makes quite a bit actually. Right yeah. So um Oh and I've got a um 300 watt solar on the top so it trickles in quite well do me 20 amps what am I supposed to be doing on this vehicle um, yep that's it for this movie so if you like please describe describe if you like please subscribe and um, yeah want to ask me anything just ask right yeah thanks <laughs>